Hi guys, I'm Crush. I just have a quick video of some impressions of the Destiny 2 beta. The open beta started today for everyone without a pre-order, but people who had a pre-order of the game had access to the last three days. The beta features the opening story mission of the game, a strike which is a longer type mission with a boss fight at the end, and also two PvP modes with control and countdown, which is a new mode. The beta starts by letting you pick between three classes, which are the same as the original Destiny, with the Warlock, Hunter, and Titan. After that it drops you straight into the first story mission of the game, called Homecoming. It doesn't waste much time giving you the premise of the story and what the game is about. You start with lots of different weapons that you can use and two subclasses. Subclasses have been completely changed with the Defender, Sunsinger and Blade Dancer changed to the new Sentinel, Dawnblade and Arkstrider. There are also reworked versions of the original game Striker, Voidwalker and Gunslinger. All of them are very fun to use with some being better than others. The mission shows off the growth and Bungie storytelling ability and left me wanting more. Next I jumped into the Strike which is set on Nessus, which is one of the new planets in Destiny 2. The Strike was quite long for Destiny standards. You go through some interesting locations with environmental hazards. The boss at the end is still a bullet sponge like original Destiny boss but has mechanics like the floor disappearing and the boss burning the ground forcing you to jump. All in all I did like the strike but without the story context of why you were there it's hard to care about the fight. Completing the strike gives you random loot drops of weapons and an armor piece. During the strike you can explore a little bit of the planet with what looks like a lost sector being at the start of the strike but is not active. After the story mission and the strike, there is PvP to play. In the game mode Control, which is about controlling three zones on the map, with the team holding the most zones getting more points for the kills, has had some changes to its format. With Destiny 2's PvP modes being 4v4, compared to 3v3 or 6v6, you play on a map on Nessus, which is well thought out with lots of space without being too big. Control feels more fast paced than in the original game. The other mode available is Countdown, which is like Search and Destroy with two cap points. This mode is meant to be more competitive than Control, with an elimination format. With the first team to get to six wins, this mode is on a different map than control and is on earth. There is thought to be skill based matchmaking in this mode, with higher end players finding it hard to find matches. Countdown is more suited to going with a full fire team of 4. After finishing PvP matches there are also random loot drops just like at the end of strikes. One of the biggest changes to Destiny 2 from its predecessor is that special weapons have been removed with you having two primary slots instead, with guns like shotguns and snipers being reclassed as power weapons, which is in the old heavy weapon slot. This is not a bad change with more primary battles taking place in PvP, but I would have liked to seen a buff to the shotgun's range and less flinch on the sniper, and a slightly higher drop rate to power weapon ammo in PvE. The time to kill has increased across the board, with team shooting being very important in PvP. There are some new gun archetypes with submachine guns and grenade launchers, both being very fun to use. Destiny 2 has received lots of little improvements, with load times being decreased and a graphical bump with weather effects like rain. The connection is better in game, but Destiny 2 is still peer to peer. A couple of the problems I have with the beta is when I first tried to load into it, I was getting error codes of termite, but I was able to get in 10 minutes later, and this problem was fixed for all users within 2 hours. In a couple of my playthroughs of the strike, I completely ran out of ammo, which wasn't great, and I feel like the abilities like grenades should come back sooner with their cooldown being decreased. I did enjoy my time with my first taste of Destiny 2 and I look forward to getting my hands on the full game. The beta is free for anyone on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One this weekend and ends on Sunday. So I would recommend anyone interested in picking up the game to give it a go and see what it's like. Thanks for watching. You guys know the deal. If you're logged in and can be stuffed, like, comment, subscribe. And if not, have a nice day. How do we come back from this? You don't. Welcome to a world without light. Guardian, something's wrong.